How's it going, YouTube? Um, filming the sawmill update today. Uh, been a little delayed because the weather was really windy for being outside for the, you know, picking up on the microphone and everything. But it finally calmed down. The rain's not moving in yet, so we're going to try to get this video uh, filmed. And so let's uh, show you some of the updates and some of the things we're still working on, and uh, maybe get some ideas from uh, what you guys want to build in the sawmill. All right, here's our uh, up and down for the, the saw head right here. Uh, we're still working this out, but basically all i done right here, this here is a, just a pin to lock it in place, and I'll just pull this thing out. And this shows how it goes down. Each time it comes around to another tooth, it's just a bolt right here, just a bolt and a nut. I made this angle piece right here and put it in here, and this bolt is loose. So it pivots up and down. It's not sloppy loose. It's, and I grease it in there with this spring. So each time it goes back, one tooth, one tooth, one tooth. The spring keeps it going down there and, and locking it down in there. So, so you can see how it's working there. Everything's in the trial mode right now. Let's see it going up and down here. So this is to coming down and each time it clicks a, a, a tooth. But we'll go back up with it here. It goes up to, I don't know how many teeth this one is. I think that's a 32 tooth there. It's just on a one inch. That was an old uh, weight bar, lifting weights. And the cables are adjustable on it. This, we haven't done any adjusting on it yet, but it, all we have to do is turn the turnbuckles because this will have to be. This will show the bar adjustable. system a little bit better. I, I, it just, Wraps the cable. Of course, come back down. Uh, everything is temporary. It'll be, you know, locked down tight. There's a couple hose clamps up there holding the cable. It won't take a lot. I think I'll actually put two pulleys down here because that'll double this lifting capacity. It'll kind of make the a little bit lighter when you do it, put yeah, a pulley system there. It, it goes up and down fine right now and the speed's pretty quick like one two three four is about a half an inch i think it's eight teeth might be something like that i haven't calculated it yet but i think it's about eight teeth to an inch uh, which is fine that gear ratio will turn out pretty good because you're not cranking in around like this that, that much to get it to this here's just a lock and this is also on a spring this lock here, you see this mechanism? See the spring there? Well, I can do this, and then I just crank this nut down just a little bit. And, and what it's done is put a pin through here, and now this can't this can't go anywhere. This is just the, uh, well, that's actually a piece of all thread. And I put that on here just to, until I can see it holds it. I went on to take it off and turn around and slap me in the jaw yep. um, with the weight on here. And um, this is the this is the guide rollers right here. They'll, they'll drop down off of here and come over here to the wheel. That's on the that'll go on the blade. Um, I just rig this up. I didn't put the bolts in here. This is push welder on a couple nuts. So what it does when you do it at an angle, it forces this down so it will be square. And if you just did it here, it could still get. A little wobbly this way but when you uh, put your oh, I've got a couple of T bolts that I'll put in there it shoves this back into the corner this piece into there but this is just a, you know for the blade rollers that one over there yeah, the roller guides probably moved <coughs> the roller guide here. we might make the one over here move slightly just for you know if we, for certain aspects but most time those will stay rigid yeah, you don't use these a lot. This mill is just designed to be able to do wide slabs. We could do 46 inches wide, maybe as much as 48. So I wanted this to, when the guide rollers come down here and go over to the blade, which is turning this way, you know, the throat will be 46 inch slabs. And, and that's ooh, a pretty that, wide cut, especially around around these parts. The odd, uh, <laughs> huge maple or big cherry a or a walnut or something and we want to do some tabletop slabs those would be pretty nice size most of the time this here 
will probably be all the way over here. And because most of our logs is just like regular logs and cutting, two by twelves and two by eight lumber. Um, so this here we're getting along pretty good. Uh, this doesn't. Once you put the two bolts in here and tighten these down, I really don't even need this. It's this, rigid. That just yeah, kind of little extra we put on there. It might take off. It's in there for now while we're doing the trial. Uh, of course, there'll be a handle on here, easy to pull in and out. This is the motor mount right here we just welded this up never mind some of our welds self-taught <laughs> at home yeah. welds i mean they're strong they're just not pretty like me strong <laughs> not pretty this right here will bolt on it. the motor will go right in here and uh, this is quarter inch steel so this is drilled for the for the motor it's a 15 horse it's a we just we didn't just we've had it for a while, but it's brand new. We got we've had it since spring of last Harbor year. Harbor grade four hundred and it's a four fifty nine cc. Four fifty nine cc, about fifteen horsepower. So I'll just uh, drill these out right here, and this will be on the motor sits here with this, the belt coming over. There'll be another pulley on here. I got to get that uh, ratio figured out. And these are nineteen and a half inch wheels on the front. So it's, it's going to be pretty wide through there. There's our motor mount. Um, I'm sure our trailer leveling system. Yeah, we just put on these jacks here. I just now these uh, ain't permanently fixed. They're made to snap on, snap off. So if we go to move it. Yeah, these was put on. Uh, I just welded a couple pieces, a quarter inch, um, two by two angle onto these. These came from. Uh, that's a Harbor Freight. Uh, Thirty-six dollars. Not bad. And. I can move these anywhere I want. These are the first two. They can move up and down this trailer frame right here. Uh, we just have to set them on today. We just welded them up. They're like C's underneath or like this. And they'll snap on there. So they're portable. And what else is portable? Over here. We can show the... Our log dogs. Yep. Right here. Yeah. These are pretty much, uh, you know, this will slide up, jab into the log, you know, down here if it's down low, crank them in there, and that kicks it back like this. But what's nice about these is these can come out, fit right here tight into the frame, and I can move them where I need them. I made two of them for now. Um, log dogs. This one here is this the... This one, I can change this um, square tubing here, and, and this pops out. This will pull up out of here. I can change it if I want it down low or just a short, because these things see these stabilizers. Right where it's at here, see, if I keep it right there, there's a log. I could go right down to the camp. It might only be one inch high, and I could still hold that log without hitting them. You don't want to hit them with a saw blade, of course. And then we did our... You've seen the little sneak peek video of uh... log stops. I'll come on, show them briefly. Those, this is pretty much what a There's lot the of other people one. on YouTube. A lot of people on YouTube does this. This is quarter inch and two inch here. These come out, and what I've got is three different sizes of these. That I'll probably just have here. This, of course, would be for a real large log. A lot of people make these and then they fall through but this are steel beams that we used here junior junior beams these come from a modular home uh, they moved it in or something guy had a couple extra beams everything is cut out with a grinder i mean uh angle grinder and everything's have a chop saw everything's welded handsaw. together with a 110 harbor freight welder yeah 110 volt harbor freight hundred dollar a flux core welder does a pretty good job. We're welding up to some quarter inch steel. But these here, these, you know, of course, these locked, locked down here. I can even, you know, raise them up or something. This would just be for like a really, this would be a heck of a log. Uh, the, the chances of us using these are going to be only on 40 inch, which we could cut. That's what it's designed for, is to cut. 40 inch you know trays 
and uh, I haven't yet built the ramps to load them up there but we do have a skid steer with some forks on it so I can pick it up to set it on here I have a uh, right now three sets of these with the last set just sticking up one inch this is level with the bed that's about bed three right quarter here. inch actually yeah so we can't hit them and I'll fix that to where it can't come down any lower because one inch up off of the the bed is all we'd want yeah the way I understand it you don't want to it's common to hit these and I've been warned and we're, we're not saw molders yet uh, this all come from YouTube uh, the accumulation of it. this guy's got a good idea that guy's got it it's not just an idea it's what I have to work with some of us you're in design that you came up with also Mostly I look at what I have lay it all out and say this is what I need and I take what I got and make it I we don't go buy all this steel everything uh, I think just mostly secondhand this and that <laughs> it's repurposed a lot of this stuff is, stuff has been around and I've just saved metal back the only things we really bought was you know like the the wheels and the, the jacks and stuff stuff we can't really make very well and the gear systems we bought all that kind of stuff and it's a uh, the frame itself is set on an old camper frame yeah that yeah. someone had into a, a utility trailer a flatbed trailer that was yeah they kind of hand did it and it wasn't so so good so we took that all apart and just used the frame for this yeah we actually have our track adjustable by these bolts here and in other words this has got to be every one of these bunks exactly the same distance from this here so these two bolts could be loosened and this moved up or down and tightened back down and once we do that and we know it's square we'll probably spot weld these here and they'll no longer be adjustable won't no longer need to be adjustable once it's dialed in but for now you know i wanted to make sure we had some options there let me see how it rolls down here we just get got it moving yeah we had to make little adjustments for uh, <laughs> get the roll pretty smoothly but i think we got it dialed in it, uh, it's a beast. It's heavy. I mean, we loaded this up here with a skid steer when we had it off of here. Everything's built extra strong. We wanted an extra strong slab is what we wanted. Yeah, this right here. We'll clear those, but I mean, for as heavy as it is, we don't even have the motor on it yet. The motor's 150 pounds. Right now, depending on where this blade, if I go to the end, these C clamps just keeping this from pushing it off. And because the saw itself will saw probably, and them shafts can go in and out, I haven't decided exactly. I want to keep it as close as I can um, to the head here. But the blades will be the first thing out here. So I can cut 12 and a half foot right now. I can do 12 and a half foot logs that's that's a maximum but I was thinking of building a little extension here but I, I could get a 12 and a half in there this right here is it's heavy and we don't have everything on here yet, but yeah, it rolls pretty nice as you can see the log clamps there is are not log clamps just these uh, seat clamps keep us from getting carried away and heading and just square tubing with the angle iron welded up in a teepee shape form for it to roll in with the v-tracks this right here actually can be moved loosen these two there's there's four there's four nuts welded on here and threaded that this collar goes up and down there's a mate over there and that would allow me to tighten this chain make a longer chain or anything we didn't know exactly how high this would be so we want it a comfortable height we don't want to be up here cranking or down here cranking it seems to be pretty good where it's at but it can be moved all I do is loosen these right here and lift this up and take the chain off. This slides up and down the pole. And just these T-nuts right there is what holds it. There's one on each side. And the other side also has that. We haven't even found a use for that yet, but these extra collars was put on here for maybe any additional accessories we may end up putting on here. We actually got it pretty much leveled up pretty quick. First time trying it here on yeah, a little bit level of ground. We only got three jack stands, four count and the one scissor. You got the tongue one, the one scissor jack, and these two back ones, and it's pretty yeah. solid. We're going to add uh, 
two more over there and one over here and it's solid and we get we get it leveled uh, really quickly this way and this way it looks like it's gonna be pretty easy of course we want to get mobile uh, if we go out well, if we were to get maybe a custom person once the slabs made on their property, it's easier to take the salt to it than bring the giant log to us. Yeah, if you do some slabs, it's it's coming along. Yeah, but that's the the update we have so far on it. Sorry it's taking so long. I know a lot of you commented on the last video and wanted a, an update on the lift mechanism, but we got way past that far. So, so hopefully here before too long we'll have it together and actually have some wood on here. So, thank you guys for watching another channel episode. I know it wasn't woodworking, technically, or bolt turning, but this is a process of one of the ventures I'm doing to get into slabs and tables and furniture. Anything I want to get into is involves wood and cutting my own wood. This is a uh, one big step key to it. And I like to uh, thank my dad, who's one of the designers and fabricators, and being on the video with me he's the one one of the big supports i have for my channel and helping me grow and get better and better so until later guys uh thank you i love you guys and i'll uh, see you next time